Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, teacher. And you? Fine. I am doing great. Very happy to be here with you again in another week. Thank you. In another yeah. opportunity to learn. Yes. Okay. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank God, you see. Thank God. Yes. How was your weekend? What did you do on the weekend? I I was in I, I don't know how do you say uh seminario? Ah, I took a seminar, you say. I took a seminar. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh no say uh training. A it's training, team a training. building about team building. Okay, so in that case mm -hmm. it's a training or a seminar, right? Can be the, any of the two of them. Uh -huh. Yes. I was on a training, you say, or I was, mm -hmm. or I took a seminar. Or if it was from the company, you say, I had a workshop. A workshop. A workshop, okay. Workshop son como talleres, ¿verdad? talleres donde hacen actividades y todo, that's a workshop. Yes, it's similar. Very good job. Mm -hmm. Rosemary, how was your weekend? Mm, I'm fine in, in the job. Okay, you have you have to work on the weekend. Yes. Okay, very good. Tell me, Emperatriz, how was your weekend? I I was a uh, training. I have a training, right? I, I had very good. I job. have a training. Uh huh. I have a training. And did you work on Sunday? No. On um, Saturday, Saturday. Only on Saturday. Good. Uh, in my work. Okay, good. Very good. Mr. Maximo, how was your weekend? Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Saturday in the morning, I worked. And uh, sun, Saturday afternoon, Sunday. Mm, I rest in. I rest. Ted in my I rested. house. Good. I rested. Good. Very good. Hello. Uh, thank you, Maximo, for sharing. Iris, how was your weekend? Good evening, teacher. Hi. Good evening. Uh, <laughs> yes. Also, I had a a, a key. Oh, eh, me duele una muela. Ah, I got a thudic, you say. I got a thudic. Ah, that's very painful. Thudic, yeah. I remember thudic, stomachache, backache, right? Okay. Thudic. Okay. Uh, so don't speak. Okay. Hi, okay. Sonia. How was your weekend? Hi, very good, thanks. Okay, thank you very much. Hello, Nancy, welcome. How was your weekend? Hello, good evening. Uh, fine, thanks. Okay. But today I feel tired. <laughs> you felt tired. You feel tired today. I imagine, right? It, I don't know, today was a very crazy day, right? With all the rain and the hot weather and all this mixture traffic. of things the traffic right was very crazy at least in san salvador it was raining but very hard in the morning and i was like what <laughs> what's going on i said <laughs> yeah it was a shower in the morning it was terrible but uh, i am very happy that all of you are here Welcome to the rest of you. I hope you all have had very fantastic weekends, right? Welcome to your to our class. And thank you to the ones that are connected and that are working. Thank you, Alejandro, for being here. He's working right now. But 
uh, they are paying attention to the class. Well, in the previous class, we were talking about the verb to be, the possessive adjectives, the possessive pronouns, right? The ways to introduce people and the ways to introduce others into a conversation, right? We were also practicing a little bit about um, the different sentences and we can use possessive adjectives, possessive pronouns, right? And we were doing some exercises with the WH questions, right? What were the WH questions that we were practicing? Do you remember? WH questions that we were practicing? Where? Uh -huh. Where? What? What? How? How? Who? 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 When? When? Exactly like that. Uh huh. How? And how? Right. Very good. Excellent job. So, this is what we were studying for uh, the previous class, right? The WH questions with B. And what was the difference between the WH questions and the yes no questions? What is and, the difference? And, the answer. And, El doble, el doble H es para dar, este, para especificar respuestas y el otro es, es, son respuestas cortas. Exactly like that, right? It's the answer. It's the answer, right? To be more specific, you use the WH questions. And to use with short answers, yes, no, it's the verb to be. Okay, good. Very good. So we were working on these different sentences, right? We were completing the sentences and we were also using the conversation to practice intonation. So we are going to go and cover and uh, with the part of the just no question was the last part that we did in the previous class. And for sure, we have to remember in which cases we use them, right? For example, R is an M are that you use it for we, you, they, and when you talk about the specific people in plural, and is that it's for he or she or it, and when you use subjects like, for example, my mother, my father, exact, et cetera, right? And am, it's only for I, right? In this case that you say, am I, right? Is he, is she, is it, right? Is my mother, is my father, right? And here we have the complements of the sentences. Uh, your, is he your father? In this case, you have to be careful because you are not going to say, is my father your father? <laughs> because it's not logical, the sentence, right? So you say, is he your father? Yes. Is she your mother? Is it your dog? Is my mother happy? Is my father a mechanic, right? And you have the form of questions, right? With the verb to be. You say, are we friends? Are you students? Are they from San Marcos, right? Here, are they from San Marcos? Are Mary and John married? Can you give me one example of a question? Either with are, with is, Right, and you create the complement, but I need you to create one example of a question with the verb to be. A simple example, based on the ones that we have there. Open your microphone and tell me. Are you shy? Are you a child? Are you a child? Good, another example. Is she in the classroom? Is she in the classroom, Sonia? Are you teacher? Are you a teacher? Are you a teacher? Are you a teacher? Very good job. Another question. Go ahead. Raise your hand or open your microphone. Are you okay? Are you a good person? Are you a good person? Very good job. Are you a good person? Thank you, Luis. Another example. 
Is my mother from San Marcos? Is my mother from San Marcos? Very complete example. Very good job. More examples, more examples. Based on the ones that we have there, you can change something. Uh -huh. Rosemary, Nancy, Nancy Gutierrez. Are you married? Are you married? Very good question. Another one. Is he your brother? Is he your brother? Good, very good. Another one. Is she happy? Is she happy? Good, very good job. Is she happy? Mr. Luis Arevalo, nice to see you in camera. <laughs> good, very good. Elizabeth. Is she... <laughs> ¿Cómo sabía que yo iba a hablar? <laughs> <laughs> Because I, I have all the cameras open in my computer and I see who activates the microphone. Oh, okay. That's why I grab it there. <laughs> <laughs> That's the magic of being on the other side. Como la sopa. Is he your boss? Is he your boss? Good, very good. Is he your boss? Is he your friend? Is she your friend? Good. Is he is she your mother? Is she your mother? Good. Yeah. Is Sorry. she your mother? No, but it's good. <laughs> is she no, is at the house? Is she at home, right? Is she at home? It's good. she. Oh. It's she. Is she at home? Good. It's she. Miss, is he Luis? Is he Luis? Very good. Is he <laughs> Luis? Good. Good question. Another one. Is she a doctor? A doctor? Is she a doctor? Good, very good job, Laura. Ah, Laurita, give me one example. Is she a secretary? Is she a secretary? Very good job. Now, as we have covered this part, we are not going to get confused on the parts we are going to use for the sentences. In this case, pay attention. We have, is Mrs. Gray, is Mrs. Gray from the United States? And say, yes, she is. is. Yes, she is, right? Yes, she is. And in this one, how do you complement this one? From Chicago. She is she Mr. Is. Gray. Okay, she is from, she is from <laughs> Chicago. Is Mrs. Gray, Mrs. Gray, ¿por qué Mrs. here? Mrs., yo creo que en algún momento les expliqué esto. You say, Mrs. is when you don't know if the person is married or not, but you think that the person is married. It's like señora casada, right? Mrs., Mrs. And uh, is Mrs. Gray from the United States? Yes, she is. She is from Chicago. The next one, English class at 10. Is the English Six. class when? Aha, very good, because you have an answer here and you have at 11. So in this case, you have when is. Yes. When is, oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to erase this one. When is the English class? But in the answer, if we put when, okay, if we put when on the answer, can we get the other part of the answer? What do you think? Let's analyze here. Here we have mm -hmm. a time, but in this one we have no. No, it is. No, it is. It's not. Is, is is English class at 10. Very oh. good. So you say is, is. Um, is not. You can no, say. It, <laughs> is your English class at 10? No, it. It isn't. 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 
No, it isn't. At 11. It is, it is at. Is your English class at 10? No, it isn't. It is at 11. Very good. The next one. You and Monique from France. Are, are, are you, you and Monique? You say, are you and Monique from France? Yes, we are. 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 Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And from Paris. We, we are. We are. We are from Paris, right? We are from mm. Paris. The next one, Mr. and Mrs. Tavares, American. Are they? they are they? Are they? Are. No, are. because you have are Mr. and uh, Mrs. Tavares, Mrs. right? Mrs. Because you have the two people there. No, they aren't. 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 Right? No, they aren't. Brazilian. They are they from are. Brazilian. They are Brazilian, Brazilian, right? They are Brazilian. Very good job. And it says, answer these questions about yourself. Ask no and give the correct information to me. Let's see. As students, are you from the United States? No. No, no. I'm not. No, I am not. I am from? Salvador. Salvador. Right? Salvador. To give a complete answer, right? You say, are you from the United States? No, I am not. I am from El Salvador. Okay. Miss Nancy Maldonado, are you from Canada? No, I'm not. I'm from El Salvador. Very good job. Let's see. Elizabeth Hirong, is your teacher from Canada? <laughs> Uh, no, she isn't. No, right, only the colonia, right? <laughs> no, she isn't. Me, me, dio risa, me dio risa, Miss, porque en la plataforma haciendo esa, específicamente esa pregunta, me tardé un millón porque lo puse de mil maneras y no me lo aceptaba. Y al final era porque no era él, era ella. Ah. <laughs> no, he's <Exactly>. not. <laughs> yes, you say no, he's not. Is your That's English it, it, this the very simple detail, right? <laughs> is your English class in the morning? People, is your English class in the morning? No, it no, no, it's, it's, no, it's not. it isn't. No, it isn't. It is no. it is in the no, it is not evening. It's at night. It's in at evening. night, right? Or it's in the evening. The night. In this case, it's you can night. say it's in the evening and it's correct. Or you can say it is at night and it is correct, mm -hmm. right? The only problem is to say good night in the evening. <laughs> That's the only problem. But you can you can use it in both ways. Are you and your best friend the same age? Are you no. and your best friend the same age? No, we aren't. No, we aren't. Okay, in this case, is he younger or older? Is more younger. Aha, that's the answer that I wanted. I am, I am very old. I am very old. How old are you? Twenty-nine years old. Twenty-nine. Yes. Or thirty-nine. Oh, thirty-nine. Twenty. 20 or 30? No, 20. Todos los demás 30. de 30, ¿sí? 29. Yes. Justo en mis 37. Uh. <laughs> I am very old. How old are you? 29. <laughs> No, pero la mayoría, que me, la mayoría que me ve siempre me dice 32, 33. Es raro el que me haga más. Justo en mi 44. ¿Quién fue la que dijo que justo en mi 44? Mi, 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 siempre siempre. Pero siempre me dicen que tengo 35. Justo en mi 37. Exactly. Ok. So, uh, ya. Yeah. No, viejo los cerros y todavía reverdece. Are you and your best friend the same age? In this case, you say, no, we are not. You say, 
he is, in this case, I'm going to write it here. You say, he is younger. Younger. You cannot say more young or more younger. Right, because young uh, es un adjetivo corto al que solo se agrega er para hacer el comparativo, right? He is younger, right? Or me hacía, she me is. Me hacían falta sus correcciones, teacher. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> back. He is younger or he is older, right? He is older. older. In this case, you don't say more older, more younger. No, you say younger or older. So yeah. let me see. Sonia Araceli, is your best friend the same age as you are? No, he is younger. Okay, very good. Mr. Juan Cruz, is your best friend the same age as you are? Yes, we are. Okay, yes, he is or yes, she is? No, uh, she is uh, the same age. The same age, okay? Yeah. Esposa de Juan es usted, la mejor amiga. <laughs> yeah, forever, forever yeah. and ever. You and I together. <laughs> okay, she is the same age. Let's see, Maximo, are you and your best friend the same age? No, she isn't. She's younger. She's younger, good. Damaris Vega, are you and your best friend the same age? No, she's more older than me. She's older, right? She's older. You don't say more older, okay. right? In, in Spanish, we say we say that. It's más viejo, decimos. But in English, you say older includes the más viejo. It includes the same. Good, very okay. good job. Thank you, Damaris. Let's continue here. And in this one, we are just going to classify a little bit on the ways to say hello and the ways to say goodbye. If I tell you, good morning, hello or goodbye? Hello. Hello, right? Okay, I am going to move it here because it was up. In the case of bye, goodbye, right? <laughs> bye, goodbye. If I say, hey, hey, it's a way to say hello, but it's when you call the person's attention, right? Hey, and you just go, right? Hey, no da paso a conversación, es solo saludo. Hey, hey, that's it, right? It's like when you when you are in a hurry, right? Cuando vamos de una carrera y solo, salud, salud, just that, hey, just that. O como el de los señores aquí que le dicen, hoy, hoy, ajá, exactly. Exactly like that. <laughs> good morning, hello, or goodbye? Hello. 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 Good night? Hello. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello is ah, goodbye, for goodbye. goodbye. No, no, no. Uh -huh. But in this case, when you say good night, it's to say goodbye. Goodbye. Porque ya nos vamos a... A dormir. A dormir. A mimir. A mimir. Yeah. <laughs> okay, tengo una relación seria con la cama. Say so good night. Good night is when you leave. Good evening is to say hello, right? Good evening is para saludar de noche y good night is para despedirnos de noche. Goodbye, goodbye, right? Have a good day. Hello or goodbye? Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello. Bye. Ah, goodbye, goodbye. Have a good day. It's goodbye, right? Bye. Have a good day. Hello. 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 Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello, Hello, right? How are you? Hello. 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 How is it going? Hey. Hello. 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 See you later. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye, Bye. right? Important, remember, good evening is to say hello in the evening and good night is to say goodbye at night. Okay. To wrap up the unit, we have a couple of things about names. Do you consider that your name is something very important? Yes, yes. or no? Yes, yes. Yes, teacher. Do you know where your name comes from? Do you have an idea or, or why did you get that name? No. No idea. 
No. Why, why do you have that name? For example, in my case, I am Natalie because my father is a big fan of Julio Iglesias. And he <laughs> loves the song Natalie from Julio Iglesias. And he says, as soon as I have one daughter, I am going to call her Natalie. And charan, here I am, right? <laughs> and that's why my name okay. is my name, right? Because it comes from uh, the song. Why do you have the name that you have? Uh, Think about I am, my name. My name is Luis because my father, the name of my father is Luis. Okay, so in that case, is because of a family member. Of Be a family member. Because of a family member, right? Any other one? Or do you have any curious story about your name? Mm. Uh, my name is Anna Elizabeth because my grandma, mm -hmm. uh, she, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Era. En, she was. Era, era, era. was. Uh, she, uh, she was. She was. She was uh, Catholic. <laughs> ah, she was Catholic, and, right? Catholic. And, uh -huh. Entonces, uh, es en honor a la Virgen de Santa Ana. Este, y Elizabeth, no me acuerdo por quién, pero también tenía que ver con algo católico. Ok, good, very good. So, Ana, because of Santa Ana, right? Santa Ana. Yes. Yeah. Good, on July, July 16th. That's very good. Any other curious information about the name? Mr. Juan, are you called Juan because of a family member, because... Yes, because my father, uh, his name was uh, Juan. Okay, in that case, <laughs> yeah. you say, uh, to use that expression, you can say, my father my was family. called. My father mm -hmm. was called. Okay, mi papá se llama. My father was called. And you use it, right? I have here uh, a little reading about names. And it says, what is in a name? What is the important part of a name? And we are going to uh, read about this. And it says, your name is very important. When you think of yourself, you probably think on your name first. It is an important part of your identity. Let's see, identity. Right now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boys and Emily for the girls. But why are these names so popular? And why are some names unpopular? I am going to stop here. What are some names that are popular in El Salvador? Maria. Eh. Maria. Juan. 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 Hey, Juan. <laughs> you are popular. Jose. Huh? Jose. 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 Uh -huh. Pedro. Brian. Pedro. Brian. Julio. <laughs> Julio. Kimberly. Kimberly. Es la Kimberly, el Brian. Jorge. El Brian. Jorge. Rosa. Rosa. Yes. Those are very popular names in our country. And do you know? Guadalupe. Guadalupe, right? And you have Maria. Maria yeah. goes with everything. Maria Jose, Maria Guadalupe, Maria del Carmen, mm. Maria. Everything is Maria, right? Okay. La Niña Maria, right? Everybody's Maria, right? So, what are some names that you know that are unpopular? That you say, ah, it's not very famous, that name. For example, today in the morning, I met uh, an, old man, uh, an old man who was called Jen, like the coin. <laughs> Como la moneda, Jen. Como la moneda, Jen. Yeah, and I was like, Really? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, that's that's my name. And he was an old man. I mean, he's not young or anything. But he was called Jeng. Do you have any unpopular name that you know? For example, Josefina. Josefina, right? Josefina. El, nom el nombre de mi madre no es muy común. El nombre de ella es Mercedes. Mercedes. Sí. Mercedes, right? Maximo is not common. Uh -huh. eh, let me see. Máximo es román. Ajá. Román. Un nombre román. Also, eh, let me see from the class. Eh, Arnoldo 
it's not that Luis, popular. No. Luis is very calm. Yeah. <laughs> right. Imagine Nancy. I have two Nancys here. I have two Juans. <laughs> <laughs> right and well rosemary rosemary is not well your two names are not very popular well, right rosemary tuve un, tuve un, un compañero de trabajo como se dice compañero de trabajo co-worker a co-worker a partner de hace años que se llamaba minor 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 y le pregunté que Ah, porque soy el menor, me pusieron minor. <risa> <risa> y nunca he vuelto a oír ese nombre. Minor. <risa> en well, Honduras es, es popular. Yeah, minor. Also, Usnaví, mm -hmm. right? Do you know the story of Us Usnaví? The people who live in Puerto de Sonsonate. And they say Usnaví, Usnaví. And I was like, who's Navy? Because on the on the on the big ships, right? No grande barco, they say US Navy. It's US Navy. Mm -hmm. And they say US Navy. And there are many people in Sonsonate who are called US Navy. US Navy. Yeah, many people. And because of that. So those are unpopular names. <laughs> so let's continue with the reading. And it says names can become popular. Names can become popular because of famous actors. TV or book characters or athletes. Do you know people with names of actors or athletes? ¿Qué atletas son famosos? Which ones? Jordan. Jordan, right? Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant, right? And they and there are people with those names, right? And Messi. there are a lot of messies around there. And what is the, the other name that it's very popular in, in, in soccer? I, Ronaldo. Ronaldo. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right, that's very popular. We don't have any Ricky Martins there. Why? Come on, and he's very popular. We don't have a lot of Vicentes. Vicente. Messi. Messi's, right? <laughs> we have Messi's here. Popular names suggest very positive things. Um, popular names suggest negative things. Surprisingly, surprisingly, people generally agree on the way they feel about names. Here are some of the common opinions about names from a survey. What is the meaning of George? Average or boring? Regular. Aburrido. Jacob, creative and friendly. Michael, good looking and athletic. Right? All the Miguels around there. Stanley, nerdy and serious, right? And for the girls, Betty, old fashioned and average. Ugly Betty, you see? Betty la fe. Old fashioned and average. Como así, como así. Por la novela. Por la novela, Betty. But no. <laughs> no, you are Ellie. Ellie, not Betty. Va por Luis, va por Luis. No. <laughs> Emily, independent and adventurous. Jane, plain and ordinary. And Nicole, that means beautiful or intelligent, right? Those are the meaning of names. In any of the cases, I need you to investigate the meaning of your name, okay? Eso les va a quedar de tarea. Váyanse a internet, investiguen qué significa su nombre, okay? Y me lo cuentan mañana. Ay, mañana, precioso, hermoso, encarnación de los dioses. ¡Ah! <risa> <risa> Clon de la belleza humana. O sea, ah, no se mire. <risa> El más pretty de los pretty. The next Divine. One. Divine. Divine. <risa> so, why do parents give their children unpopular names? The biggest reason is tradition. Many people are named after a family member. And of course, opinions can change over time. A name that is popular right now might be popular in the future. That's good news for all the George and Betty's out there. Okay, from all the reading, do you have any new word or vocabulary that you don't know the meaning? Vocabulario nuevo, palabras nuevas. Uh -huh. 
tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Surprise. Surprisingly. 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 Yourself. 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 This is surprisingly. The next one, yourself. Yourself is para ti mismo. When you think of, of yourself, cuando piensas en ti mismo, right? Another one. So good. Okay. Suggest, 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 suggest. Let me see. Popular names suggest, right? Sugieren. Very positive things. Suggest. Sugieren or uh, are linked with. Uh -huh. Mr. Arnold? Um, an actor, como se pronuncia? Shared. No. Shared. it. Let's see where where is it? Arriba, arriba. In TV or book character. Ah, characters. Characters. Ah, sí. Personajes. Characters. Character. Yes. Character. Because characteristics okay. is different, right? Char uh -huh. Characteristics is las características, right? But characters are personajes. Ah. Uh -huh. Characters okay. or Teacher. athletes. Thanks. Yes. Uh, yeah. Ya se me fue. No, lo acabo de ver la palabra ahí. Ya no la veo. No, I haven't deleted no. anything. <laughs> survey. Survey. Survey is encuesta. A ver, a ver. A, 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 ¿Cómo se dice? A ver, a ver. Mediocre. <laughs> Mediocre. O oh, no. O oh, no. O oh, no. Average. It's oh, like, no. no, but average is like normal. It's like, ah, it's like in the regular size, right? Average. Porque yo no soy nada normal. <laughs> average. <laughs> And the other one, yo no soy nada normal. <laughs> Go on. Average. I know, I know. Me too. <laughs> Tradition, right? Tradition. Tradition. News. Might News. become, right? Might become. And that's it, right? I am going to ask different people to help me to read the paragraph that I have here. I am going to ask Mr. Maximo to read the first one, Arnoldo to read the second one. Uh, let's see. I am going to ask uh, Juan to read Juan Cruz to read the next one, and Emperatriz to read the last one. Okay. Okay, teacher. There you go. Go ahead. Your name is very important. When you think of yourself, you probably think of your name first. It is an important part of your identity. 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 Continue. We know the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. We, why, 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 why are, are these names popular, names popular why and are why some are some unpopular? names popular? Good, very good, continue. Okay. Names can be, can, names can be can can popular. become popular because of famous actors, actor, TV or, or book, book characters, character, or popular, character or popular, popular names, athletics. yes, very popular positive names. things. And popular names suggest a negative thing. Surprisingly, people generally agree on the way they feel about name. Um, here are here are uh, some common options about names from a sent survey. From a recent survey, opinions, Sorry. right? Opinions. opinions. And the last one. Okay, so why do do parents give their children um, unpopular name? The 
biggest reason is traditional name, money. Uh, people are named after a family number, member, of course. Opinions can change over time. A name, a name that is a uh, is popular now is is um popular now. Me, me, my may be, become popular in the future that's good new 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 for at the york okay george george george, george and betty's out there okay very good thank you very much so in this case we have why do parents why do parents, so give, why do parents give, give their children unpopular names why do parents give their children unpopular names the biggest reason is tradition people are named after a family member of course opinions can change over time a name that is unpopular now might become popular in the future right might that's good news for all the Georges and Bettys out there in the world. So thank you very much to all my volunteers, <laughs> the Docratic volunteers who read the sentences. And tell me, yes or no, your name is part of your identity. Yes. Yes, yes. it's true, right? It's yeah. true. People often feel the same way about a particular name. True or false? They don't care if it's popular or unpopular. True or false? True. 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 Uh, I will have to say no. Because imagine that you meet a person for the first time. Okay, en una cita ciega. Y llega y le dice... No se habían dicho el nombre nunca, ¿verdad? solo pajarito uno y, I don't know, muñequita cuatro. ¿verdad? And then you say, like, what is your name? Ah, my name is Godofredo. The lady will be like, nice to meet you, Godofredo. And your name, um, Catalina. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and you will feel like mm, maybe they are not very popular names and you're not going to feel a uh, comfortable. Instead of saying, uh, what is your name? Uh, Maria, Juan. Yeah, nice to meet you, right? You feel comfortable. So many in many cases, people don't feel the same about a particular name, right? I had a friend who was called Raquelito. But that was his name, <laughs> Raquelito. And he was a very it's big man. Fun. It, is, it was very curious because he was a very big man. He was very strong and everything, but his name was Raquelito. Imagine you would feel like, okay. <laughs> it is very, it is very, it's very different from, from a normal Juan, a normal uh, Pedro, a normal Peter, a normal Maria, right? You feel different. Boys' names are more popular than girls' names. True false. or false? False. False. Right? false? false. They can be equally popular. People are often named after family members. True. True, True. True. right? True. True. Opinions about names can change. True. True, right? True. Because imagine in the future, we are going to have a lot of bad bunnies there. <laughs> a lot of uh, I don't know uh, another name. Give me another oh. popular name that it's not really. J Balvin. Uh, another another J Balvin. Bye, bye, J Balvin. Uh, Carol G's. <laughs> we're going to have Carol G's <laughs> in the in the future. We never know, right? Maybe we're going no. to have <laughs> Alejandro. Yeah, example. A, a lot of Natasha's, right? Natasha's. <laughs> yeah, the most best, Alejandro. Very good example of a comparative that we kill. The most best. 
And when you say more better, that's good. Alejandro sent that example on the chat. Good. So maybe in the future they are going to be popular and we don't really know if it's going to happen or not, but we have to be prepared, right? We have to be prepared for what is coming. Now, based on this one, I can see that many of you, many of you finished the section in the platform, right? And that is fantastic. Tell me, we're going to talk in general about jobs, about jobs. That is the second section of our uh, module. What do you consider, what do you consider the best job in the world? What do you consider the best job in the world? Todos los que tienen barba y bigote. Okay. <laughs> what do you consider the best job in the world? If you tell me, I will say teacher. But you will say, you. No, no, no. What do you consider the best job in the world? The one that you like, the top one for you. Maximo, your microphone. A pilot. Logistics and commerce. Logistics and commerce, good. <laughs> because it's your job, right? What do you consider the best job in the world? I will say veterinarian. I love it. YouTuber. YouTube, that's good <laughs> because they have they have this ability to create, imagine, speak, and everything. It's it's very admirable. Yeah. Yeah. Cuando subo la clase a YouTube, digo, YouTuber. <laughs> influencer. English teacher, influencer. Yeah, YouTuber. <laughs> Yo creando la lista de YouTube. That's good. Okay, another job. Do you consider a police officer the best job in the world? No, it's very no, much. No. It's dangerous. No, it's dangerous, right? It's dangerous. What about what about um firefighter? No, it's dangerous. It's, it's interesting, but it's dangerous. It's interesting but dangerous. What about the doctor? Yes. It's good. It's good. A doctor is good, nice, easy. Yes. Easy and olvida el bisturía. It's dangerous. It's challenging. It's dangerous. It's a bad doctor. <laughs> good. So we have here. What do you consider the most boring profession? What do you consider the most boring profession? That you say, I know. I, I cannot imagine myself there. What do you consider the most boring profession? Uh -huh. Give me examples of a boring profession. What do you consider the most boring profession? Which one? About. Um, I can't tell. Accountant, but maybe the accountant is going to say, hey, no, it's very fantastic. The balances, <laughs> the money, the finance, when they don't match, woohoo, yes. right? Yes. Cuando no cuadra, mm, beautiful. <laughs> and they, <laughs> they will say no, right? Let's see, what do you consider the most challenging profession? Challenging is retadora. What do you consider the most challenging profession? Uh -huh. A teacher. A teacher? <laughs> English. I think I will, a challenging, I will say artist. a teacher. Yes, an artist, a high school teacher. Hmm. That's a yes. challenge. <laughs> a high school teacher, una maestra de bachillerato. That's challenging. <laughs> Creo que quizás sería como más difícil la maestra de, 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 de kinder. Con los niños pequeños. Oh, no. Yeah, but in kindergarten, no. they obey. And they, if you say, sit down, they sit down. But in high school, no. if you say, sit down, <laughs> che, 
Naked again. They start monkeying around. It's very complicated. I was there. I have been there and I will never come back. Yeah. I was a teacher in high school in a public school. Forget it. I will never come back there. I no volvería. No. What do you consider an easy profession? A dancer. It's not easy because you have to memorize the dance. A TikToker. <laughs> what do you consider an easy profession? Think about it. An Uber driver? Sí. <laughs> easy. No. Easy. And if you get lost, uh, easy se pierde. Se pierde. <laughs> And if you don't know, a mother is an easy profession. No. <laughs> no, no. A father is an easy profession. Yes. <laughs> Para algunos. Mostly when they say, preguntale a tu mamá. Yes. <laughs> yes, teacher, it's easy. It's easy. Ajá. Porque ya voy a ser papá de nuevo. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> a, master, a master's degree in parenting. What do you think, or in which category, in which category will you place a construction worker? Easy, difficult, challenging, a construction worker. A construction worker. Difficult. It's a difficult profession. What about a fisherman? Un pescador. A fisherman. Challenging. Challenging. Right, challenging. Have you seen this, this, this program that it's in Discovery, I think? Pesca Mortal. <laughs> in which they have this, all these problems at the moment of fishing. That's difficult. What about a lumberjack? A lumberjack, it's a person who cuts the trees. Is it easy, difficult, challenging, dangerous? Easy. It's easy, right? It's easy. What do you think of the person who does the cleaning? The janitor, el ordenanza. Is it easy, difficult, Boring. challenging? Boring. Boring. Boring, right? I consider it difficult. It's very difficult. What about a psychologist? Boring. 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 <laughs> if you like the gossip, then it's interesting. Do you know what's the gossip? The gossip. The gossip. When you Chambre. Speak, speak. <laughs> Chambre, right? That's the meaning of gossip, right? If you like the gossip, then for sure it's your job. And nah, I'm kidding. I love all of them around the world. <laughs> What is a rewarding job? Rewarding is that you feel that you uh, get more of what you offer. Doctor. Rewarding. A doctor. Good. Good. What will be the meaning of rewarding? Recompensado. Recompensado, right? O más pagado. <laughs> no, but in that case, uh, when you say más pagado, it will be... Let me just write it here. Well paid. Well paid. Well paid that it makes a lot of money, right? Rewarding, you get a lot, but not in money, right? Rewarding is que tú te sientes bien recompensado, pero no de manera monetaria. But well paid, it's with money. Exactly. I feel very rewarded about my job. I love it. And... I really enjoy it. Let's see. Here, I have a short conversation for us to finish the night. And I am going to ask Rosario. Rosario, can you help me with... Let me see. <laughs> Josue Alexander and Rosario. Josue Alexander and Rosario. Help me with the conversation. Jason is going to be Josue and Andrea is Rosario. Go ahead. Okay. 
Okay. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook, Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I am good. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great show. I love it. And what do you do? I am a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger Heaven, okay. Heaven. She works at Thomas Cook Travel. And it says, oh really, what do you do there? I am a guide, 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 a guide, guide, like a tour guide, right? I take people on tours to countries in South America, South America, like Peru, America. right? Peru. How interesting, right? How interesting, because you, you feel that something is very interesting for you. Yeah, it's a great job. It's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I am a student. And I have a part-time job. A part-time job is that you go in the middle of the day, right? And where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven, right? Hamburger Heaven is the name of the restaurant. Let's see. Miss uh, Rosario, where do you work? Where do you work, Rosario? I work at the... Nati cooks travel. <laughs> no, where do you work in the real life? In real life, ya en la vida real. Where do you work, Rosario? ¿En qué trabajo es ese teacher? Uh -huh. mm, trabajo, no sé cómo se dice este trabajo en imprenta y soy operaria de una máquina compaginadora oh y empastadora. Goodness. I remember, I remember that conversation from before. I work in a printer press office. I work in a printer press office. And, oh, and I am an agent. You can say I am an agent. An agent, it's un operario. Right, I am an agent. Or I work with... Um, I don't really know the name of compaginadora, but we need to investigate it. I promise to investigate that for tomorrow. <laughs> okay. I work at a print pressed office. That, that will be your answer. I work mm. at a print pressed office. Okay. Mr. Josue Alexander, where do you work? If you work or not. And if you don't work, you say, no, I don't work. I am a I student. Work. I don't work. I am a student. I am a student, right? I am a student. Let's see. Sonia Araceli, where do you work? I work in La Casa del Repuesto. Okay, good. You see? Discounts there. <laughs> I work at Casa del Repuesto. Good, very good. Let's see. Iris, where do you work? I work in... I work at. I work at and print. Imprenta. A print press. A print press print office. Press. Good, very good. My God, we have we are very popular here with the imprentas. That's very nice. Arnoldo, where do you work? Uh, I work in not notificator in Consejo Superior de Salud Pública. Notificator, what is that? Sí, what, what, is, what is your profession? But what do you do? You, you notify. <laughs> okay. Okay. So in that case, eh, I think it has a different name. I, I will investigate for a different name for that one. Because I don't think it is a notificator, but I will, I will investigate that one. Okay. Maybe yeah. you are a messenger. A messenger sí. is the one that takes news from things to there. Yes. A, mes a messenger, it's like a, como que trabaja en mensajería, que lleva papelería y todo, anda de aquí para allá. 
es como notificator, es como, eh, bueno, notificador es como notificar cosas legales. Eh, ah. Tiene que ver mucho con, con, con resoluciones, más que todo. Ah, so you're, you are like almost a lawyer. Are you a lawyer? Mm -hmm. Ah, so in that case you say, I am a lawyer. I work at uh, the Ministry of Health, right? Ministerio de Salud, right? Salud, right? Mm -hmm. Good. Sí, eh, del Consejo Superior de Salud Pública. Esa okay. parte del Ministerio de Salud. Okay. O sea, que ahí se... se le, dice que se le cuentan las costillas a los médicos. <laughs> I'm a lawyer, you say. So in this case, you say, I'm a lawyer. Good. So we're going to keep on working on the topic for the professions, occupations, and the things that you do for tomorrow, okay? We are going to work on that part here. Oh, that's the exercise for tomorrow. I am not going to show it to you, okay? Mm -hmm. So my dear students, we're going to stop right here. I am going to continue working on the topic tomorrow. We're going to work a little bit on the third person simple. So please uh, try to catch up a little bit on that topic. I know you studied that before, but uh, the third person singular, in some cases we forget it. So if you can give a quick check on that one, I will really appreciate that for tomorrow, right? Simple present, third person, okay? What is that? I need you to investigate a little bit because we're going to use it tomorrow. So let's investigate about simple present, third person, singular. Okay, I will send it on the WhatsApp group, okay? Have a beautiful night, my dear students, and I'm going to see you tomorrow for the next part of our class. Thank you, teacher. Night, teacher. Thank you very Thank you, much. Teacher. Have a beautiful Good night. night, everyone. Good night, Good night. Good night, Good night. everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Bye-bye.